My name's Claire and I'm the technology coordinator here at the library. I wanted to host an event in the beginning of the year to introduce the community to all the different businesses locally who can help support us when it comes to technology. The first topic I have today is internet TV. So I'll keep it short and sweet, is a router is going to be the central point to media streaming. So, media streaming. There are lots of devices that can stream media. So Apple came out with their newest Apple TV. The difference between this one and their older Apple TV is it has hard drives built into it. What else is cool about the new Apple TV is it has the new smart remote that has Siri built into it with microphone commands. Next is the Google Chromecast. So, just like Apple users, there is a wide market of Google users who probably wouldn't see the full benefits out of an Apple TV that they would out of a Chromecast or out of a Google Android device. And it gives you the ability to stream and use your phone at the same time. Roku is devices that lots of customers come into Staples and ask us about. The advantage to Roku is their devices have 2,000 plus channels that you can download from them. Western Digital Media Player. The thing about it is, it will play any video file that you have on your computer specifically. Pay TV ads. So if you're paying for Rogers or Bell right now, something that a lot of people don't know is they offer their content online as well. Your Rogers account would include the ability to open the Rogers Anywhere TV app and you can watch content. That moves me into my next topic, which is tablet or desktop computing. The thing I will warn you of is a tablet is best when paired with a computer. So the reason for that is there's spatial limitations on tablets right now where if you have a 16 gigabyte model, filling it might be a bit easy. iPads aren't upgradable. So the gigawatt means if you're buying an iPad, be aware of what you wanna store on it uh, because when you start storing applications on a 16 gigabyte unit, you're, you're gonna run out of space very quickly. So a tablet is more of a consumption device which is best for people who plan on watching videos, browsing the internet, reading a few emails, but not much more. The topic today uh, I was given is about backup and archiving. If you don't back it up, you lose it. Everything will fail, and the most important part is to air is human to really screw up and take his computer. Uh, Time Machine is a Mac product. Uh, it has software that comes on your Mac. Uh, you'll need to purchase hardware, uh, such as uh, Apple Time Capsule. Uh, the USB sticks are cheap. Um, you put all your data on, they vary in size, anywhere it goes up to 8, 16, of course they're in their nice geek speak language, up to 256 um, of storage. OneDrive is a Microsoft product, Dropbox is another form of a cloud, and so is Google Drive. So when it comes to smartphones, so the first thing is just to determine what your needs are. So we've listed a few uh, questions here, so these are questions that we regularly ask customers just to try and figure out what you're going to be using your device for. So choosing your operating system is a really big part of smartphones. So Android and iOS are two of the most prevalent operating systems right now in the market. Android's kind of like the partner that changes for you. They adapt for you. You don't really need to worry much. If there's one way you want to do something, it's probably available for you to do it that way. Alternatively, iOS is kind of the partner that you have to adapt for. There's one way to do something and you have to figure out that way and then you can do that that way every time. Who here feels that technology is moving too fast? All right. <laughs> I believe so too. And the problem with technology moving too fast is it creates a massive opportunity for insecurity everywhere. That's just how it is. So we just have to live with it and be proactive about how we handle it. There are more than 35 billion URLs that are being indexed but there's a million new websites being launched each month with one million new pieces of malware being published each day. And the good guys are always out there fighting reactively. The bad guys are always many steps ahead. And as long as you're focused on blacklisting, you can never make it ahead of a threat. You're always gonna be behind as a result of that.